It's Media Day 2016 for the Verizon IndyCar Series. Joseph Newgarden among the many drivers that are coming in and out of here. And also, there's Project 100 going on behind us, and we all show up. We're like, wait a minute, what? What the heck's going on back here? There's some changes going on, aren't there? Ch -ch 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 -change Ch -ch -ch changing, changing. Right. You know, it's uh, it's cool to be here. You know, it's just pretty decent weather actually for February, so I think that bodes well for the construction. Uh, but people are going to see a lot of differences. You know, I think there's just general improvements everywhere. We've right. we've had them trickling in over the last year or two uh, with the new uh, GP of Indy that we've had and. You know, people are just going to see a more bolstered Indianapolis 500, which is how it should be. You know, this is uh, this is a marquee event, not just for Indianapolis, but, but for the world. Yeah. And the 100th running, you know, this is one of the largest sporting events ever. And to go 100 years, there's not many events that have done that. So I think it's it's exciting to be a part of it. If you can win it one of these years, this is this the is year. This is the one, win. right? It's the year, year to win it, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. Changes for you, too. No longer CFH racing. It's now... Ed Carpenter Racing, uh, new name, same people though, and same desire to win races. I know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's uh, there's some management change. There's you know a little bit of ownership change, but nothing major. Um, right. You know, I think uh, that's that's more the top level stuff. It, it is major, I guess, if you look at it from a, t a top view. But you know, with everything within the side of the group, you know, the the, the core of the group is really going to stay the same. So uh, I, I have no real worries about going into this year. I'm super excited. I love yeah. working with Ed Carpenter. Um, he's really taking great care of me. So we got a strong group. Uh, you know, we, we I think we proved that last year with with that core group I was talking about. We were able to get a couple wins, and you know, this year we're just trying to make the most of it again, improve on it, and you know, hopefully get three or four wins. That that would be nice to add to that column. Take that next level, if you will, with the Ed Carpenter Racing and Joseph Newgarden. It, as mentioned, it's Media Day here for the IndyCar Series. Not quite like Super Bowl Media Day. What's the oddest question though you've gotten so far? Oh, the oddest. You know what's funny is they consider us the young guns, you know. And I'm going into my fifth year of IndyCar right. racing, and they're still calling me a young gun. I'm a 20. I'm 25, which I guess is good in motorsports. But uh, you know, I just feel like I need to relish that. You know, that's not going to mm -hmm. always be. But guys like James Hinchcliffe, he's like almost 30, and he's still he's called. He's got gray hair, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's you know he's like you know he's kind of I don't know if he's going to lose his hair or if he's going. Gray. <laughs> I'm sorry, James, but you know he's he's coming up on 30, and he's still young gun so uh, I think that's the funniest part about it is you know we're still trying to hold the torch for the new IndyCar drivers brother my advice take it and run with it young gun Joseph Newgarden here at IndyCar Media Day at the Speedway